Welcome to today's Biz Moment brought to you by Insperity, inspiring business performance. We present to you the ins and outs of Happy Hour, a two-part guide. Part one, first of all, is deciding whether you, a manager, should attend. If you do choose yes, here's how to proceed. Hint, it's with caution. Now, tip number one, if you do choose yes, don't be the last to leave. Make an early exit to reinforce the professional nature of your relationship. If it helps, plan your exit strategy before you arrive. Tip number two, don't buy the drinks. Your main goal is socializing, not encouraging alcohol consumption. Tip number three, even though it's after hours, there's still some liability in what you may witness. Hopefully you won't witness anything and it won't matter, but just in case. However, the good news is that terrible karaoke performances aren't a part of that, so just enjoy or cringe as you see fit. Moving on to part two, if you decide it's best to skip happy hour, fear not. Here are some alternatives you can and should suggest. For instance, number one, breakfasts and coffee shop meetups can foster a fun social environment where conversation will flow as easily as the caffeine. Alternative number two, events like a painting class can help encourage social interaction as well as collaboration. Think of it as a team building experience, but with more artistic flair. Finally, it's important to remember that when employees invite you out, they want to spend time with you. It's okay to socialize outside of work if you do it the right way. Who knows, you might even make a few friends. Stay tuned for more Biz Moments, business tips for savvy leaders. For more like these, visit the Insperity blog at insperity.com.